très honoré de vous accueillir. On a démarré en 2009. Welcome to Toulouse, where the first flight of the A300 took place 40 years ago in this month. We have come a long way since the first Airbus white body took to the sky. But I don't think there could have been a better occasion to inaugurate the final assembly line for the new generation. This is just one factory. It's just the final element of an industrial structure spread across dozens of sites around the world. On everything from aerodynamics and systems to the cockpit and the cabin, the S350 combines the best new and existing technologies and creates something very special, very efficient and very profitable to our customers. Today we are already well into the proving that all those technologies work well. This aircraft behind me will test the S350 to its social limits but will never fly. That honor goes to MSN1, which you can see in assembly now. When this first of our five test aircraft takes to the air in mid-2013, it will signal the final big push towards certification and entry into service. It's about thanking, from the bottom of my heart, the 16,000 people around the world already working on the SC50. Thanking them for the passion and great work that got us to this point. It's about recognizing the huge effort that lies ahead of the 34,000 workers who will maintain that pace and take us up to full production rates. The F350 carries forward a, a wide body heritage that started 40 years ago with the A300. And it represents Airbus' future in possibly the most competitive industry on Earth. Dear colleagues, your determination to always produce something better can be seen in the A350 and in every successive member of the Airbus family over the last 40 years. I am proud to be the boss of such a great team. At Airbus, the person we will honor today started as the technical director of the A300 with a team of three. He once said that you can't compete by copying rivals. You've got to do something better, much better. And uh, he was uh, the predecessor of the mindset of people like Steve Jobs who used to say, don't be afraid, you can do it. And that entrepreneurial vision still drives Airbus and everybody who works with us. So, on behalf of uh, everybody at Airbus, I am proud to announce that in tribute to one of the fathers of Airbus, to a man who built our own legend, this building will be named the Roger Betay Final Assembly Line. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to express how much I appreciate the honor that you bestow on me by associating my name with the assembly line of the best and most advanced airliner of the time. Il a tant donné, tant contribué à le succès et la réussite d'Airbus. He's given so much success in Airbus. I think we owe him a real standing ovation. Thank you.